You know, when champions win, the people put them on their shoulders. When heroes win, as I said, they put the people on their shoulders. You seven cities have put the people on your shoulders. You have led the way to a better life in each of the places where you live. You have made home a place where people want to stay. And that's the goal, that's the aspiration of every intelligent community. Why are we here today? Well, we're in uh, Columbus to talk about uh, intelligent communities. Oh, we're here for a couple of reasons. We're here to celebrate the top seven. Today is really all about celebrating the top seven intelligent communities, and eventually tomorrow we're going to pick one of them to be the intelligent community of the year. And everybody's excited. You know, it's amazing. It's like the Super Bowl. And it's who's going to, quote, win. And so the seven communities, you can see them now starting to get a little tense and looking around and wondering if they're going to be getting the call. It's, it's kind of exciting, but you know they're all winners. But more importantly, we're here to bring together the leaders of cities to learn from each other how to build prosperity, how to make great, great places. Intelligent communities deal with a number of opportunities in a community to take advantage of high-speed broadband, uh, the opportunities to develop innovation, and take advantage of the workforce that is evolving in the new economy of smart and intelligent communities. We're going to need to get serious and then to have some fun. We're going to get serious because we're going to have workshops about the rural and the urban side of the intelligent community movement. And as you can hear, we're going to have fun because we're in Nicosi, the uh, Science Center in Columbus, and tonight we're going to have a blowout pep rally for the top seven. So uh, we're going to get serious during the day and then tonight we're just going to party. We have people here from Vietnam, from Germany, people from Rio de Janeiro, Belgium, from the Netherlands, several from Canada as a matter of fact, and from across the United States as well. All sharing this great vision of what's possible for them in their cities. Intelligent communities have more than just a focus on technology. We also talk about a variety of things that range from the knowledge workforce to digital inclusion and so forth. But culture, culture is a very important part of the evolution of a community. Not just the technology pieces, but how the arts, heritage, and other aspects of culture form what is part of society and people. The other communities that are coming here that are not intelligent communities yet are coming here to get on the path. They've heard that something's going on, no-name communities, a lot of them, and they want us to take that first step. So they come here and they get fired up to do it. We have the top seven communities who are here from all around the world, and we also have other communities from as far away as Vietnam coming here as well to learn. I think that the dynamics are very positive. I think that uh, it's extremely interesting to see how the networks has developed, how you get people from all over the world, from many continents. Mm -hmm. So I'm really impressed by, by the success of this uh, yeah. conference. Well, good. And if, you know, you're part of it, so it's great to have you here. As I've said before, you know, we could do this in New York, we could do this in Singapore every year, but this is where the intelligent community is, it has its soul in places like this that, that, you know, fly a little under the radar. Our tagline is, you know, the best city to live, work, and raise a family. Well, you know, we're hoping through this experience that people will see us also as a city to visit, come spend time with us, because truly we have, we have something very unique to show. The first impression is quite different from my original imag imagination, mm. because I think uh, Columbus is a very big city, so maybe it look like uh, New York, a lot of people, a lot of traffic, but when I arrive here, I find, I find it's totally different. It's now time to name Columbus's successor. Au revoir, Columbus. Bonjour, Montreal. Merci beaucoup. C'est très très apprécié. It's a great honor to be first and foremost amongst the six other cities that were named amongst the finalists. Back in 2014, when I came to the ICF and I was like a sponge, I listened to every single word these three amazing gentlemen said back in New York. And here we are, two and a half years later, we're the top community in the world and we owe it greatly to you. Thank you very much. And that's why we come here, that's why we are involved. It's, it's not about 
being top seven or about winning, but really it's about learning from one another. And uh, and the conversations this morning about the challenges that, that other cities are facing. The youngsters, my kids, they don't ask it. They say, where are we going to? Right. So we see the future as a threat because robotization, well, loss of labor, they see it as a, well, as a challenge. It's great that the world is going to change that way. So we have to bridge this gap, and that is something you can do. We bring people on all kinds of themes together. And there's a lot of issues to which we don't have all the answers. So let's come together and let's put on the table our assets and see how we can create synergies and to develop great things. I'm Robert Bell, and I'm a co-founder of the Intelligent Community Forum. My name is John Young. I'm one of the co-founders of the Intelligent Community Forum. I'm Lou Zaccarello, I'm one of the founders of the Intelligent Community Forum, and I'm here at the ICF Summit.